Hi, this is Slosh. Today is Friday, and that means, as always, it is time for Slosh's Sources. It might be good, it might be bad, it might be the worst or best you've had. Embrace the taste or cut your losses, but let's all try some of Slosh's Sauces. You know, it's been a really long time since I've done this, and I actually got all of the information here so that I wouldn't forget. So I'm just gonna drag this over, and this is actually in front of my camera now, but I can see it. So the last time that we put out a Slosh's Sources where we actually reviewed sources was Boston Ballistic Hot Sauce with Swell and Slosh. Did that with Swell. Um, it was Slosh's Sources number 111, and it was published on the 6th of February, 2017. It is the 30th of June, 2017. So it has been a while since we've done this. But since it's been such a long time, I thought that there was no better way to get back into Slosh's Sources, which is something I've been wanting to do for a really long time, with one of the sources that really got me into loving hot sauce. Now, this is a, a redo, a redux, uh, but I feel this is a really good way to get back into the swing of things. Now, right, we are going to be doing The Devil's Tears Gigi Springs Organics, uh, Hot as Hell Red Savina, Habanero Chili Sauce. Come on, go into a little bit of focus there for me, buddy. Anyway, this is Gigi Springs Organics, The Devil's Tears, Hot as Hell Red Savina, Habanero Chili Sauce. 250 mils. Product of Western Australia, extremely hot. Use sparingly, avoid contact with ice. Product of Australia. Uh, the ingredients are vinegar with a asterisk on it, which means it's certified organic. Red Savina, habanero chilies, certified organic. Water, cayenne, pepper, xanthan gum, salt, fresh limes, coriander, garlic, capsicum extract. It's a gluten-free product. Refrigerate after opening. Shake well before use. Product may vary in color. Uh, contact Gigi Springs Organics. That is not the correct website. The correct website is... This one, it is, and I'll say it out loud, it is www.thedevilstears.com.au. Um, and I actually met Jewel, uh, Jewel Clayton, I think it is, Jewel Clayton, uh, who makes this sauce at the Araluan Chili Festival this year. Um, I've met her before. This is, this is the one sauce that every year that I went back to the Chili Festival, every single year, I would make sure I'd bring one of these home because back in the day, you couldn't just, you know, buy them off the internet like you do now. But this is this is the Devil's Tears Red Savina Habanero Chili Sauce. Uh, it won the... It came third for the hottest chili sauce on the ground at the Chili Festival in 2016 and 2017. So it's a bronze award winning hottest chili sauce on the ground. Two years in a row, 2016 and 17. Uh, their new website, as I said, is www.thedevilstears.com.au. Um, their price is $15. $15 a bottle. And it has been that price for 15 years. So does that mean it's going to be $16 once you've had it for 16 years? I don't think so. Uh, so this is one of the ones that I've always kind of loved having in my fridge. It is, it is very vinegary, um, but not in a bad way. It's kind of like super Tabasco, but not even really super Tabasco. Not even super, it's super mega Tabasco. We'll go with that. Um, as you can see, I uh, couldn't help myself. So I had to get four. So I haven't done this in a really long time. It's, it, it's kind of weird. I, it's one of those things I've wanted... It just, you know, the weeks have gone by and it, we've just, just somehow not doing it. We do have a nipple, but we're going to use this nipple because this is a very watery sauce. Just checking that I've got all the information in here. Yep, 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 yep. Awesome. So I bought some new spoons. Now, this is a pretty big spoon, but oh, it does fit in my mouth. Mate, that's not a very good screenshot. Anyway. This is Gigi Springs Organics, The Devil's Tears, Hot as Hell, Red Savina, Habanero Chili Sauce. It smells amazing. Um, it, it, like I said, it is one of the ones that, that got me into hot sauces in the beginning. 
and I would put it on literally everything until the bottle was gone, and then I'd hang out for the Chili Festival the next year to get another one. Um, literally every year, it was my one have-to-buy sauce every single year. It is very hard not to spill this, so you've got a nice big spoon of that there. It smells like chilies and vinegar, chilies and vinegar, but not like that heavy vinegar that, that I dislike so much these days. But anyway... This is, as I've said many times, Gigi Springs Organics, The Devil's Tears, Hot as Hell Savina, up your bum. It's the same taste that I've, that I've loved for years. Like, my, my taste in chili sauces has morphed and moved a lot. Over the past couple of years, like there's the um, Hellfire Hot Sauce Company that puts so many different flavors in things. Uh, you've got Matthew Price with the Forge. You've got Grant Farrow. This the sauces making the most amazing peri peri sauces you can imagine. And there's all these different amalgams of flavors that kind of add up to more than the sum of their parts and all that. But there's a place in my heart for the simpler things in life, the simpler things in life. And everything doesn't have to be that complicated. Things don't have to be that hard. Things can be easy. This is great. Um, I've literally, on, on eggs, it is absolutely perfect. Like nice runny eggs, like the yolk running all over your toast and making it all so you just, you lashings of it. Lashings, you give it lashings. Flavor, I'm going to go nine. Heat, I've had a lot of hot stuff lately. My mouth is quite warm, though. Oh, I'm going to have to go six. Six on here, because my mouth is quite warm. But I could, I could put lashings of it on things. Lashings, I think is the perfect word for it. It is... <coughs> It is quite vinegary. It is quite vinegary, but but like I said, not in that cheap, shitty, put heaps of vinegar in it to make it last kind of way. The flavors all balance. It's good on chicken. It's good on pork. It's good on beef. It's, it's you know what it's really good in. And this is gonna sound weird. Tuna sandwiches. Uh, tuna and mayonnaise. With this mixed all through it, it's absolutely fantastic. Local Perth company, Organic. Uh, Jewel says here, um, in, in the message that I got from her, um, she said, after doing some research in the industry, we believe that the Devil's Tears is the only organic source in, in Australia. I'm not sure about that because I think, I think that shit the bed is, but I'll double check and I might put an answer there, but... I might not too. I might forget. As always, guys. Uh, you know what? No. Not as always, guys. So I'm going to pull the information up. We're going to try something new. We're going to put it all up here. So you'll find the website here. The name of the source here. And, and stuff. If I can manage to do that. I'm going to try and teach myself something new with the editing. It's been a long time. Um, I've, I've missed doing this. I've missed you guys. I hope I haven't turned this source review into too much of me talking about how long it's been since I've done a source review, but it's wonderful to be back and it's wonderful to be back. Starting with something that was one of the first things that got me addicted to hot sauces and um, which kind of led to me being part of this entire scene. So seriously, do, do check this out. Um, it's, if you're in Perth, easy to get. Uh, I don't know if they do international shipping, but it, uh, definitely worth checking out. Very, very good. Love it. I think that's it. It's been a long time since I've done this. Is there anything that I've forgotten? Is there anything else that I normally do? I don't think so. So as always, thank you so much for watching. This is uh, Slosh's Sources. We will be back next Friday with another hot sauce review. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for everything. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. I'll see you guys next time. I love you. I've missed you. It's nice to be back. Peace.